Thanks for tuning in to this week's Inside FNM Wrestling. I'm Brad Waltmer here for GoDiplomats.com. And sitting down here with me is head Franklin Marshall wrestling coach Mike Rogers. Mike, thanks for taking out the time to uh, sit down here with us. Yep, no problem. Uh, so your team's fresh off its first uh, dual meet victory of the season. Um, you took on an up-and-coming Sacred Heart squad on Sunday. Uh, you came away with a 21-13 win. Um, so your lighter weights really came through for you at 125, 133, and 141. Uh, they all picked up wins to give your team an early lead. So just talk about uh, the performances from, from those guys from yesterday. Um, I think overall, I mean, we could have done a little bit better job. With, uh, we weren't as aggressive as we wanted to be. But, um, you know, starting off with a 125 or freshman, Dan Montaccio, that's a tough – uh, thing to ask any freshman to kind of start off. We started off last year with a freshman with Jason Bing. This year we have another freshman in there with um, Danny Martaccio. And um, again, I, he, he wrestled, uh, he did a good job, got the win. Um, but I think he has another level of wrestling he can get to, and that's what we're trying to get him to open up. And uh, I think a little bit of nerves, you know, college level, D1. And, you know, I think Hard did a great job providing a really, uh, you know, uh, intense environment. So, uh, but. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, he got it done. Um, and uh, they, lead, they lead into our next freshman at 133, uh, Patty uh, Quinlan. He's, he's being very consistent. He, in every match he goes out, he gets a little bit better, a little bit stronger, and he was able to get bonus points for us. That's the weight class we were looking to get. We were you know, strongly favored, and we needed to get bonus, and he went out there and got bonus for us. So he's doing a great job of uh, getting the wins when he can, and then um, it's nice having someone that, that go out there and tries to get the bonus points for you, maybe take some of the pressure up, off the uh, upper guys going going into the other lineup. And then uh, Robert Reese uh, came through with another win for us, you know, very uh, – again, same thing. I, um, I think he has a whole other level, another gear he can get to, and, you know, as a coaching staff, we need to sit down and think about how we're – um, training and uh, get our guys to another level of wrestling. Uh, he came out strong in the first couple of periods and kind of faded a little bit. Uh, we were hoping for maybe a major or, or some bonus out of him. But um, like I said, at the end of the day, he took care of uh, what he needed to to get the win for us, um, you know, to um, give us a, a good start going into those middle, you know, those middle weights. Yeah, so it was a great start, but then the Pioneers closed the gap a little bit at 149, 157. Uh, but then, you know, freshman Jake Connor, sophomore Gordon Bullig, uh, they both res responded with a pair of decisions. So uh, just talk a little bit about their wins and, and why you thought those guys were successful. Um, yeah, 65, we had two guys weighing in, um, Jake Connors and um, Andy uh, Francos. Uh, it was really came, came down to that point style matchups. Uh, they both have very different styles. We went with Jake. He has uh, he's very good on top. Um, um, has good counter wrestling. Um, so just came down to match matchups. And, and Jake did a great job of coming back through. Kind of got behind early in the match and battled back through and got two late takedowns. One takedown to tie it up, and then uh, he went right after it in overtime and got and secured the win for us. And that was great to see a freshman um, first time, first dual meet he's been at. We moved him up from 57 to 65. So first competition at that weight class. Uh, to come through not only with a win but have to do it in overtime shows a lot of heart and a lot of character for a uh, for a young man you know out there and his first in, in uh, competition and going to 74 uh, same thing Gordon did a great job of uh, getting on there and, and um and getting his match going but we need to um, you know close it off we we uh, we put the pressure on then he kind of uh, backed off a little bit and scored when he you know had to but I think uh, he had, you know the same thing this is his first competition too really you know he was a um, freshman last year so we we're, we're really young really in most of those weight classes so it's you know it's the decision we got to we talk about is it uh, the nerves versus um, training and conditioning um, you got to address both um, but uh, I, I think he's going to be all right he just needs to again, continue to be aggressive throughout this whole match. But at the end of the day, he got the win for us and, you know, helped secure, um, uh, you know, giving us a little bit of cushion going into those other weights. Yeah, so you guys had the cushion, but Sacred Heart still kept battling. Um, so and, and they pulled within five heading into the heavyweight matchup. Uh, but Alex Henry continued his strong start to the season, and uh, he, he secured the match with a 62 decision. So you have to be happy with the way he's performed so far uh, this season. Yeah, Alex, again, he's um, every time he's going out there, he's getting a little bit better, a little bit more confident. And the last three competitions, he's going out there and um, doing well, you know, from the Binghamton to the Army now to, uh, you know, Sacred Heart. He's putting consecutive wins together. So uh, it was nice to kind of see him, you know, finish off the dual meet. Um, 
with a positive note in, uh, you know, he took most attacks. He was he's bringing the match to the Sacred Heart kid. Um, even when he was winning, he was still looking to continue to score, and that's what we want. We want guys not just to try to sit on wins and sit back and and, and hold back. Is if you know you know continue to score points, and um, he's doing that. He's doing that more and more. I think he has again another another level he can get to another. Um, um, you know, uh, tier of wrestling that he's capable of. And it's his senior year. I think he's realizing uh, there's no next year. <laughs> you know, we got it. You know, this is it. So every match he goes out there, I think, with, with the understanding that this is the last, that every dual meet is one less dual meet he's going to have a chance to participate in. So I think he's trying to make the most of it. So, you know, it was nice to start and finish with wins. You know, and we just got to close those gaps in those, in those middle weights, upper middle weights, and, and figure some things out and, and perform a little bit better, uh, a little bit higher pace. I think we're known to be a little bit more aggressive. We're, we're not doing that right now. And why? I don't know if it's youth and experience, um, but we're, we're addressing those, and I think we're going to, you know, you know, finish strong, you know, as we get into this, ending this first part of the season get before we get into the second part of the season. Yeah, and then Sunday, uh, you guys travel to Lock Haven for the Matt Town Open. Uh, it's a tournament. You guys usually find success at. Um, so last season, uh, you had three top five finishers: uh, Rick Durso, Robert Ruiz, Jason Bing. Um, so just talk a little bit about what your expectations are coming into this weekend. Uh, same thing. This is a, another opportunity for all our guys to get a chance to wrestle. So we'll bring you know pretty much the whole squad go out there, and um, we're still you know some weight classes. We're still figuring things out. There's still a lot of opportunities for a lot of those guys that aren't in the dual meets to to kind of um, get experience and. Uh, fight their way back in the lineup and try to uh, kind of show what they can do. Uh, and it's also a learning process. And these guys need to go out there and, and uh, there's dual meet uh, poise and there's competition poise or uh, tournament poise. And uh, tournament, you know, you have to put a string of competitions together, not just get up for one. It's, you know, two, three, and sometimes they come quick. And and uh, sometimes you have to, you take a loss and bounce it off a loss. So we get to see uh, different sides of our athletes and how they handle adversity um, in a bunch of different ways. So, uh, but yeah, we like that tournament. It's a, it's a good, strong tournament. It has um, a lot of good competition, and I think uh, we'll see where we're at really quick um, after that tournament. Um, you know, as individuals and as a program. Great. Well, thanks for taking time to sit down here with us today, and uh, good luck, Lock Haven, this Sunday. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like FNM Wrestling on Facebook. Follow them on Twitter. Subscribe to the Go Diplomats YouTube page.